Videos were taken between 29th of February and 1st of March 2020. Currently, Thai Airways only operates two weekly services between Bangkok and Sydney. I checked out from my hotel and took the Airport Express to Sivanabu Airport. The ticket only cost 45 baht, around 1.92 Australian dollars. The staff at the checking desk carefully checks my passport stamps and boarding passes to make sure I've been away from mainland China for more than 14 days so that I'm allowed to enter Australia. Finally, I get my bags checked and receive my boarding pass to Melbourne. No one knows international travel will turn to a standstill in a few weeks. However, with gradual rollout of the COVID vaccine, this scene will be back in the future. It's time to say goodbye to Thailand. The security here is strict. As always, you need to tie your belt and shoes off. After security inspection, you pass through this glass corridor, turn left, and take the escalator downstairs where you will go through outbound immigration inspection. Many elderly people are attracted by this traditional Thai statue, and they take some photos. On my way to the gate, I first pass through the King Power duty-free shop. I get myself a Scottish whiskey and a rum made in Cuba. The rum costs around 25 Australian dollars at the duty-free shop, however, it costs 53 Australian dollars at Liquidate. How heavy the tax is. Many sales assistants could speak functional Mandarin. My flight departs from gate D6, which takes a while to reach there. I'm able to use the lounge thanks to the Dragon Pass vouchers that come with my credit card. Once you enter the lounge, turn right you will first see a fridge that is full of soft drinks, sparkling water, and mineral water. There are a few alcoholic beverages for you to choose from here. You could get yourself booze before your flight. Iced orange and guava juice as well as some ice creams here. Healthy fruit slices here, sliced pineapple, papaya and watermelon. Let's make a crab stick and ham salad. Spaghetti with red, green, and yellow capsicums. Chicken rice, chicken noodle soups, shrimp wonton noodles, and char siu rice is available on request. This lounge provides loads of bakeries. It's tea time.
Let's see what hot dishes we have. Pork curry, eggs and pork in sweet and brown sauce. Stir fried spicy squid. Stir fried vegetables. Tom yum with mushroom. I haven't had my dinner until almost 9 o'clock in the evening. I'm starving. The food I chose to taste good. Wi-Fi is available here, but I still have plenty of my 4G data, so I just use my data. Shower rooms are available, and not many people are using them in the evening. Just ask the cleaner to prepare it for you. Well, welcome to the shower room tour of the Miracle Business Class launch at Subanabu Airport. Um, this shower room is actually quite huge. Here we've got a, a enclosed shower suite, a flush toilet, a urinal, and here's a basin, a liquid soap, a tissue box, towel, some shower gel and shampoo, and a hair dryer. Local Chinese and English newspapers, together with a Korean newspaper, are provided. You could also choose many English magazines to read. This lounge doesn't have its own IC. Surprisingly, it's still very comfortable inside. It's time for boarding. The flight is operated by a four-year-old Airbus A350-900 with registration number Hotel Sierra Tango Sierra Bravo. A bag search is conducted at the boarding gate. You need to dispose all of your liquids. If you have purchased some alcoholic beverages at a duty-free shop, staffs will bring them to the gate and you will pick them up. Thai Airways Airbus I350-900 is in two-class configuration, 32 business class seats and 289 economy class seats. Inside the seat pocket, you will find a pair of headphones. and the safety information card in airlines magazines. The safety information video is shown on the in-flight entertainment system. It adopts the theme of jungle and wildlife. Since it's an overnight flight, a pillow and a blanket are provided for every economy class passenger. This Airbus i350-900 uses central AC that makes the cabin so humid and hot. I'm sweating again not long after my shower in the launch. 
A flipping airline, Airbus A321, could be seen parked next to us. Hi Thailand, it's so lovely being able to spend a cozy, lazy and cheap fortnight in this fantastic country. After the plane has reached cruising altitude, I switched my seat with a mid-aged man so he could sit with his wife and child. Let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment system. The system is touchscreen enabled. It's very responsive.
the seat pitch is around 32 inches, a standard one for the wide body judge. A compact remote control can be retrieved by pressing a button. No paper menu is provided, instead, you could access a menu in the in-flight entertainment system. Two meals will be provided for this flight from Bangkok to Melbourne. The menu looks great. My first meal comes with bean salad, braised beef shoulder, and pumpkin custard. The main isn't well presented, but everything tastes great. This Airbus A350-900 is Wi-Fi enabled, however you need to pay for the connection. You will get 30 megabytes of data for 9.99 US dollars, 100 megabytes for 19.99 US dollars, 500 megabytes of data for 34.99 US dollars, and unlimited data for 59.99 US dollars. It's not a long flight, and I don't want to pay that much, so I just forget about it. The flight is generally smooth. The cabin crew regularly wandering around the cabin and provide passengers with water. It's breakfast time, I choose the western breakfast. It's really a big serve. The sausage is too dry after reheating, which is a significant drawback. After breakfast, we are now flying over South Australia. The plane starts its descent from Geelong. The weather is superb, I could clearly see the ground. It's my first time flying Thai Airways Airbus A350-900. It's a pleasant experience, new plane, good sea pitch, new flight, and Tema is exceptionally responsive. Views as I read, crews are nice. The flight is mostly a smooth one. At present, Thai Airways is, is experiencing a very challenging time due to COVID-19. Wish Thai Airways all the best and could survive this hard time.
leaving the plane. An Emirates Airbus A380 is parking at its remote stand. Due to the direct travel ban, many flights from mainland China have been cancelled, which makes the arrival area so quiet. Also, because of the restriction, I go through a thorough inspection by border officers regarding my itinerary. After around 15 minutes, I'm good to go. Thanks for watching.